one thing that is. But he said she got shot in the foot, though. Full circle. Hold on, man. He, I understand. I just told him, for, he just found out for the first time that Megan Thee Stallion was shot <laughs> in the foot. On, uh, some, on some motherfucking Harlem Night nice shit, man. Yeah, but not quite. It was, pink and toe, lot. man. You sh man, this motherfucker tore a lane and shot me in the pink and toe, man. That, that's like, that's how it went. And that nigga went to the jam for it. They couldn't sell that shit. My bad, folk. <laughs> <laughs> like the movie, you know what I'm saying? They ain't see the movie, folk. Damn, y'all. She bouncing her ass, though. You know what I mean? So I guess she Damn. full recovered. This nigga still locked up. <laughs> and you said, yeah, and you played the song, the song was jamming. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. Let the nigga sing. He, he, he made the thing. <laughs> he can't shoot no more. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Let him sing. You know what oh, I mean? man. Come on, man. She dancing this shit. I was there worked out some kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> It worked out for somebody, all right. Man, every, every, all my brothers on the chain gang say, I know, I'm sorry, and yeah, I am rectified for anything. All lesson learned, So we folks. just talked about Tory Lanez was dropping his prison tapes. And, the song and you told me jamming. why. He, the song jammed. You tell me why, though. I'm thinking it like something crazy. Man, that shit's a movie. It's different. <laughs> One thing be crazy. That's a whole movie scene, folks. The song is jamming. He said, man, leave me alone. I'm going to shoot your ass. I ain't even been the kid. I'm going to shoot your ass, though. And he decided to shoot her in the foot. Nah, like, man, how that shit play out? It happen like that for real, man. I don't know Turns shit. Turns out that it didn't necessarily happen like that. But he said it happened enough for me sitting down. Well, we was, okay, so since we was talking about the politics, I, 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 and you don't know the story, I update everybody with the story. Might as well. So by going through, this dude right here say he uh he was there. Hi, my name is Jaquan Smith. Let's see if we can make this bigger. No, that ain't gonna work. All right. Well, I'm just gonna read it anyway. He say he over the age of 18, obviously, blah, blah, blah. So on Ju uh, July 12th, he gave this statement, affidavit. I was the driver and bodyguard of Mr. Daystar Peterson, who is better known as Tory Lanez, on July of 2020. Stace evidence. Mr. Peterson has been known to me for seven years at that time. Damn, folks. Of the incident, I had worked for Mr. Peterson for three years. Man. He uh, has not only been a the, been an employer, but I also consider him to be a close personal friend. Hold on, man. I gotta, I gotta get a bigger. Gotta get some glasses or something for for this post. Well, he went in detail, no matter what, though, man. I, I hope it's good on his behalf, man. Or so, somebody. but shit, this motherfucker locked up, so it could have been. This is who is. This is who this information is coming from. I'm just breaking it down. Uh, who this information is coming from, but I gotta see if I can find me a uh, man, something I mean. better as far as the way I'm looking at it, cause uh, it's a little small for my eyes. You did, but Tory Lanez on um, definitely got new evidence. So uh, hold on, hold on. I know Florida got mandatory. Um, that's what happened. And well, he wasn't really, he didn't go to jail. He didn't get locked up or ch charged with shooting Megan Thee Stallion. Everybody says it like that, but that's not necessarily true. Mm. It was, he even just got locked up just for shooting a firearm in public and it harmed somebody. But I'm talking about, but it was in Florida though? No, nah, I was in Calif Cali. Cali, okay. I know Florida got them. Uh, so they, they were ten, twenty-five. But this is the story. Too. This is we gonna get into the official story. I found. A, I guess wild. this is a little bigger. I could read this one better. So you on that Snoop shit? Excuse Murder me? with the case that it gave him. For me? No Snoop. No man, I don't know. No no, no Snoop. No did No one no when when Snoop had to Big fight the diddy. murder charge, man. Like he ain't, you know, he's saying that he just shot the gun. <laughs> so let's listen to the story. On right. July twenty 
I mean, on July 12, 2020, I was asked to drive Mr. Peterson home by Kylie Jenner, where Miss Megan Pete and Kelsey Ed Harris were uh, okay all along. Okay, yeah. I was asked to drive uh, by Kylie Jenner, where Miss Megan Pete and Kelsey Harris were present. Miss Peterson was at Miss Jenner's home for approximately two hours when I received the call to come pick up Miss Pete and Miss Harris. Uh, oh, Mr. Peterson, excuse me, my bad. I keep on saying Miss Peterson. Miss Pete, Miss Harris, and myself left Miss Jenner's home, but I was asked by Miss Pete to return because she stated that she had forgotten the shoe. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so, see what happened with this situation. <laughs> is, is sound like that shit, she went out <laughs> to a pool party at the college. At the Jenner's house. Kylie Jenner? Yeah, at Kylie Jenner house. Yeah, man. That's some wild shit for herself. <laughs> went out with Tor- oh, and he was banging. Oh, they dating the shit. They dating that. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, all right. She said she left her shoe. She went back, Tori in the pool with Kylie Jenner. <laughs> you know? So he got Megan Stallion and Kylie Jenner at the pool party. Megan ain't about their life and the shit goes south. Basically. So this is how it all folks. So he say, um, when I when we arrive at Miss Jenner's home at this time, Miss Harris stayed in the car. That's Ky- uh, Kelsey Harris, that's her best friend. Kelsey is keep Kelsey her. Harris and Megan. What what's yeah, Megan? Megan name? is Miss Pete. That's Pete. So Pete yeah. so Harris is Pete and friend. Yeah. All right, cool, man. You got to break that shit down. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's right. a peek. All right. All right, so say uh, she still, she stayed in the car uh, yeah, while Miss Pete exited. Miss Pete did not enter the home at this time as she went around the back to the pool area <laughs> where Mr. Peterson was located. <laughs> Both Miss Pete and Mr. Peterson returned to the car after a few minutes. Miss Pete was bickering, but I am unsure of the exact word she was saying. She seemed upset. The four of us left Mr. P- uh, Miss Jenner's residence. As I began to drive, Miss Pete started to fight with Mr. Peterson and Mr. Peterson's Tory Lanes. In the car with Gorilla Zoe and her best friend. Not Gorilla, Megan Thee Stallion and her uh, uh, best friend. Yeah. Yeah, Pete and Harris. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Peter Harris. I'm Peter, following Peter this Harris. shit, man. Okay, this shit follow. like soap opera, man. As I began to drive, Miss Pete out started to fight man. with Mr. Peterson. <laughs> they were going back and forth. In I the remember. back seat, man, how big the vehicle was, man? They must have had one of them big boy jokes. Yeah, they in the big, you know, this the driver with the, you know, the big Atlanta truck. Wood limo type. Yeah. It's big suburban shit. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it's three three of them. Yeah, three in the back, Maybe and they four. just tussling it. You know what I'm saying? Oof. So you say, man, you can keep, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> As I began to drive, they began to start fighting. They were going back and forth. I remember Mr. Peterson saying, Miss Pete, that he was going to tell Miss Harris what was going on. <laughs> so he didn't remember w- the exact words up earlier. He said, I was unsure of the exact words she was saying, but all of a sudden I remember that Mr. M- uh, Pete, Mr. Peterson said, I'm going to tell what's going on. So I do not. Remember, okay, now he don't remember again <laughs> what street we were on. So now he, uh, he don't remember again. But Miss Pete asked me to stop the vehicle. I did as she asked. And Miss Pete went and sat on the bus stop. Mr. Peterson went and uh, spoke with Miss Pete after about two minutes. They returned to the car and I began driving again. I'm paraphrasing. Miss Pete. Uh, started arguing again and Miss Harris asked what was going on. Mr. Peterson told her that he and Miss Pete had been dating and they were intimate. But Miss Harris was upset by this as she and Mr. Peterson had been dating in the same manner prior to any relationships with Miss Pete. Miss Pete and Miss Harris began fighting. This is great. Man. Days are our lives, bro. You can't make this shit up this on the fucking, clown show. Yeah, this is fucking gold. <laughs> I ain't gonna front. Man, they like some uh, like romance novel, like they a uh, girl called Schmutt. You know, I'm just reading, man. I'm just so caught in this book. I had to read it, man. <laughs> yeah, to read it, so man. They said, I pulled over to stop them. <laughs> Miss Pete and Miss Harris both got out of the vehicle and continued to fight, both verbally and physically. I broke up this fight 
and I was pulling Miss Pete toward the back of the car. Okay. I saw Miss Harris with a gun in her hand. <laughs> Yeah, man. It's not Dude. funny, man. Violence is it, not it, it, funny, man. But hey, that shit clowns. You can laugh, fuck, that, man. you know. This shit like the Simpsons. Toy Lanes is in jail. That shit's not funny. Making the style, doing <laughs> dances on the stage. Come on, man. So now we talking about this affidavit. She didn't pull the gun up. I saw Miss Harris with a gun in her hand. Miss and Mr. Peterson ran from behind Miss Pete and myself toward Miss Harris. Mr. Peterson and Ms. Harris began struggling as Mr. Peterson tried to unarm Ms. Harris. And for some reason to me, I just, I, I don't know. I, it's just a funny story to me. I'm watching this shit as you said. You know what I'm saying? I want to see how it ends. Now, I like, feel like she's doing one of these movies. Yeah, this month she got rushed you know, by a big kind of short. So Tori probably can't even grab the gun. They ain't trying to do tough guy shit, and she like, nigga, please. You know what I'm talking about? I done wrestled your ass in the bedroom. Nigga. Nigga, you know what I'm talking about? Get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm talking about? You know, she don't want to shoot nobody. How my mother got shot? Oh, bro? man. So Mr. Peterson began struggling with Miss Miss Harris, began struggling with Mr. Peterson. They tried to arm Miss Harris. I was still pulling Miss Pete and did not see who shot the weapon. I was lucky. I was not harmed, and in my opinion, Miss Pete was also fortunate. The whole incident happened so quickly, within just a couple of minutes. I wanted to present this evidence during Mr. Peterson's trial, but I prevented I was prevented from doing so as the district attorney was not ready to cross examine me. And later they did not call me to do uh due to the holidays and the court schedule. Bullshit. Bullshit. Mm. I believe I should have been allowed to present this evidence at trial. He the fucking will, man. He tell you play by play what happened. You know what I mean? And he can't say that shit in front of the jury and this motherfucker still sitting right now? What the fuck country ass country we live in, man? We was born in and shit. What the fuck going on out Anywho, here? man, it is a great story. That's a wild ass story, man. So pop essential out this motherfucker, man. Those you told you, man. You need a segment, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's probably about 50 of these motherfucking stories out here. Yeah. You know <laughs> <laughs> and if you find it, man, that was a cool ass deposition, though, because that shit read like a motherfucking movie, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's like a movie. It's like a movie, man. And same way you said about the homie, man. R.R.P., man. I mean, most definitely, but yeah, you know, never 